We have seen the signs. The dear child of God is saying, I've seen them. I've seen the oppressions. I've seen the signs of the needy. And he's saying, I would arise. He's saying to you, I will set myself up to give you that victory that you deserve. And every one of them that puffed at you, dear child of God, every one of them that oppressed you, they would see the visitation. Yes, God is going to visit them. And it will be terrible for them all. I said they turn to God today in the mighty name of Jesus. He knew he needed God to rescue him. And so he went to God and told the Lord to help him. He told the Lord to arise on his behalf. And the Lord went ahead to fight for him. Dear child of God, the Lord is going to fight for you. And you see, after the Lord fought for him, what the Lord did was to bring rest to him on every side. Dear child of God, for the oppressions, for the pains, for the sorrows, for the afflictions that you had experienced, God is going to arise for you. He's going to fight for you. He's going to give you victories and also bring rest to you on every side. In the mighty name of Jesus, you will discover you would have rest round about in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The things that were not working before, dear child of God, they will begin to work this day in the mighty name of Jesus. And that is the sign you will get that God had risen up for you to bring you that victory in the mighty name of Jesus. He went to God. He said to God, it is time for the Lord. He said, it is time for you to act, O God. It is time because they have broken your laws. The moment they began to fight against you, dear child of God, they broke the law. The moment they became your enemies, they broke the laws. Because he said, touch not. He gave a warning. He said, do not touch my anointed. And then they went ahead and touched you. They went ahead and laid snares for you. They went ahead to plan privily. Yes, they planned in secret. And that moment, they broke the laws. The laws and the commandments of God. And now God is going to arise for you. And is going to act. He told the Lord, do what you please. And the Lord did what he pleased. And those enemies, yes, those people that stood against him, God made sure they were taken off his path because they refused to stop. Because they refused to stop, dear child of God, you'll be taken off your path. You have done everything to show them love. You have done everything to be patient, but it wouldn't stop. And so the word of God is coming to you today that God is going to help you. He's going to arise for you. And it's going to bring you rest. It's going to cause you to have your life back. It's going to cause you to rejoice again. You have been asking the Lord, when would I have my restoration? When would I have everything returned back to me? God is saying to you, there will be a restoration. There will be a restoration of all things. And the victory you so deserve, the victory shall be yours in the mighty name of Jesus. God is going to bring you to your safe haven in the mighty name of Jesus. The place you are going to rejoice all day long. The place you are going to have peace of mind. God is going to make sure you get there in the mighty name of Jesus. The place that you deserve to be, dear child of God. God will ensure that you get there in the mighty name of Jesus. David went to God and prayed. He said to God, Arise, Lord. Deliver me, my God. And then he said, strike all my enemies on the jaw. Break the teeth of the wicked. Dear child of God, this day, God is going to arise and is going to deliver you. He's going to deliver you out of the place of darkness. He's going to translate you into the marvelous light in the kingdom where you should reign in glory in the mighty name of Jesus. And all of those who had brought you to captivity, he said to God, please deliver him. Because at that point, he was in captivity. He was in some bondages. And God showed up and delivered him. He cried to God. And God answered. And every of those enemies that withstood him, every of those enemies that made sure he was locked up, every of those enemies that made him to sorrow and to suffer, dear child of God, God struck each and every one of them. He said to God, Strike all my enemies on the jaw. He says, break the teeth of the wicked. 
Dear child of God, those who want to eat up your flesh, those enemy that wants to destroy you, those enemy that rejoices in your sorrow and afflictions, God is going to break their teeth. They are going to experience the miserable punishment, yes, that would hit them. It would make their life miserable in the mighty name of Jesus. Every one of them that wanted you to suffer, they wanted your pains to increase night and day. God is going to arise. He's going to arise in his anger, dear child of God. He will lift you up. It will cause the rage to stop and every of those enemies they shall be dealt with in the mighty name of jesus he cried to god he said to god arise and you know when the lord arises his enemies yes when the lord arises dear child of god your enemies will definitely scatter because what says arise O lord and let your enemies be scattered today dear child of god those enemies they shall all scatter in the mighty name of Jesus. They may have been ganging up, yes, in their covens. They may have been gathering to do evil against you, dear child of God. They may have intended that your life will be in pain. They may have intended that you would sorrow. They may have intended that you will be faced with hardship. They may have intended that you will suffer. But today the Lord would arise. You will see the might of God. And the Lord will deal with each and every one of them terribly. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, he said in his word that he rose up his feast and dealt with them a terrible blow. Dear child of God, every one of them that oppressed you, every one of them that mocked you, you were in need, you were in pain, you needed them to rescue you, but they wouldn't. They had everything it takes to help you, but they wouldn't help you. You see, Gideon was going through a great war. The Lord had assured him of victory, but it seems like he needed help. And he went to the man that could help him. And they said no. They made a jest out of it. They mocked him. He told them we are pursuing, but we are not fainting. We are still fighting. He told them we are pursuing, but we are not fainting. We just need something to keep us going. We need some bread. But they said no. They mocked him, dear child of God. Somehow, you found yourself in that position. You know you are making progress, but you needed a little support. You needed a little help, but they refused because they don't want you to make progress, because they don't want you to succeed, because they don't want everything going on well with you. And you see those people who became your foes, they were men of your household. They were your brethren, they were people you could run to. And they turned their back at you because they wanted you oppressed. You see, what you should know today, that they have made themselves as well part of the enemies. And the same way they shall be dealt with the terrible blows of God in the mighty name of Jesus. He told God to arise and to deliver him. And God arose and delivered him. God arose and turned everything around. He told God to redeem him. He said to God, redeem me on the account of your loving kindness. And God arose. God arose on his behalf and redeemed him. Dear child of God, where have you found yourself right now that you are crying, you are saying to God, please arise, please deliver me. You have seen the oppressions and the things that are supposed to work in your life. God will make sure this day they would all be working in the mighty name of Jesus. It's going to strike them. It's going to bring them down and will be judged. Every single one of them they shall be judged severely in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Trust the Lord that fights for his children. Trust the Lord that have assured you of victories. And definitely, dear child of God, you would testify of your victories in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You will see the power of God. You will see the supernatural act of God's wonder. You will see the hand of God show up for you, lift you up and bring you victories. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Dear child of God, you will not be a reproach anymore. Dear child of God, you will not need anybody consoling you again because the Lord God of heaven should have uplifted your life and turned everything around and brought you victories in Jesus' mighty name. You will have overflowing joy because the Lord God of heaven that reigns is going to show up in your life 
He's going to bring you the settlement that you deserve in Jesus' mighty name. I call it done because it is settled. And you will testify of the wonders and goodness of God in the land of the living in Jesus' mighty name. They may have wanted you dead, if you're a child of God, but they failed. They failed because you are alive. You are going to live your life. Yes, you are going to celebrate your glorious victories in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. It is well with you, beloved. God bless you. And shalom.